Hello there. We are back on another day of our 100 Days to Brave journey. We are using the book of Daily Devotions as written by Annie F. Downs to help us become our most brave, our most bold, our most courageous and confident selves. We have made it up to day number 86. Yay! We are getting there. All right. We are in the section of the book, uh, Brave Enough to Serve, Give Who You Are, The World Will Be a Better Place for It. Let's get into day number 86, people. What you have should affect where you are. Tell them to go after God who piles on all the riches we could ever manage to do good, to be rich in helping others, to be extravagantly generous. If they do that, they'll build a treasury that will last, gaining life that is truly life. That is 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 18 through 19. Brave people deny themselves and serve others. Brave people are the ones who take what God's given them and give generously. Friend, your resources should make an impact wherever you go. Your time, your money, your talents. Serve someone else this week with your hands. Allow the Lord to lead you to those who could use a loving touch and hug them. The people you hug and touch and love this week can be changed because you hug them and showed them the love of Christ in a tangible way. Your home should be different because you're in it. You can look around at your family and the walls that hold you and see that place as a mission field. See your home as a place where you can love and you can forgive and you can make a difference. I'll tell you a secret and if this gets out, I'll know exactly where it came from. I'm a pretty selfish person. Some people on this earth are natural servants. They immediately think of other people first, volunteer whenever possible, and somehow have a smile on their face for most of it. If that's you, I congratulate you. And I humbly request that you teach me how to be like you. But that isn't me. I have to choose to work at and focus on caring for other people more than I care about myself. Because I want the places I go to be touched by God's love. Your financial resources, however large or small, should be making a difference in this world by furthering God's kingdom. Give, friends. Be brave enough to put yourself, your wants, your money, and your time second place so that what you have, what God's given you to steward, makes a difference wherever you go. All right. Day 86. What you have should affect where you are. The point in today's lesson that's brought out says your resources should make an impact wherever you go. Our call to action for today says be brave. Make a list of the ways you want to be courageously generous. Again, make a list of the ways you want to be courageously generous. All right, that wraps up our lesson for day number 86. And it's, um, for me personally, just reading the lesson today because remember, I don't read them until I read them out live for the taping to share with you all because we're on this journey together. Um, it's the day before Thanksgiving. And I think this lesson about being generous and sharing our time, our talents, whatever we have to, whatever resources we have to offer, I think it's pretty um, important and relevant at this time of year. You know, during Thanksgiving, we're always looking for ways to volunteer, looking to help others. Um, 
you know, inviting family and friends in, you gathering together, enjoying one another, and just being thankful again for all that God has provided. And it's 100% a time when we can share whatever resources we have um, with other people. Take the call to action, do it, make a list of the ways you want to be courageously generous. All right, the sun has come out nice and bright, <laughs> shining bright on us. I appreciate the sunshine. It feels so great coming in right now. But um, definitely take our call to action today. Not only make a list of what you can do to be courageously generous, but once you make that list, definitely execute on some of those things. Until next time, our 100 Days to Brave journey continues. Peace.